Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Salesforce Space Station. In today's episode, Leah is going to walk you through how to set up rich text emails inside Salesforce. Enjoy. Salesforce Space Station. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step on how to set up a rich text email content in Salesforce. Salesforce CRM has leveraged its email content that will enable system administrators to configure rich text email. The benefit of rich text email is to enable the business to send personalized and intuitive emails. When I say intuitive emails, meaning we can take into consideration the basic needs of text formatting and adding images into it as well. Lastly, what makes rich text email beautiful is that it is configured on top of Salesforce flow. Therefore, if there are any form of business processes that needs to be considered before sending the email, then this feature will really be of help and most of all, it is easy to configure and maintain. So let's do it. Let's click on setup. So from the quick find, just type in flows. Click on flows. So all you need to do is to create a, a new flow but as you can see, I've already created one. So let me just open this one and walk it through. So as you can see here, I've already created a record triggered flow. Make sure that you set up the trigger whenever a record is created or updated and run the record after the record is saved. Then just click done. Right, so we will be running this flow on the lead object where I have also created the paid checkbox that will be used for our condition that when the value of this checkbox is true, it would send an email to the leads email with our professional rich text email content. And I've also selected the second one only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements since we are just running this flow when triggering record is changed from not meeting the condition requirements to meeting the condition requirements. Click done. So next would be creating the new resources, which is text template for the email, subject, and recipient email. So let me edit this one. All right, so you can also expand this. So one tip is that when you're trying to add an image, you will have to change the view from rich text to plain text for you to add the image source. Okay, click done. So let's edit the second one, which is the personalized subject. So for this object, you can use a merge field by typing in the record. Click record, and then you can just choose the fields that you want to insert on the subject. So as a sample here, I've added the record dot first name and record dot last name. And I've also added a greetings um, greetings, which is welcome to the business. Click done. All right. And lastly, for the recipient email, you can also add another resource in order to select the email from the lead record. So just the same, just put in the record dot email and click done. All right, so once everything is completed, you will then have to insert an action, send an email action, and you will um, you will then have to enter all the resources that you've created. So let me open this one and let me show you. So here, I've added a personalized email, I've added a personalized subject, recipient email, and a global constant, the, um, the true. So after that, just click done. So once done, you just don't forget to connect these two, save your flow, then activate. Now let's test this flow. So I have here a sample lead record. And as you can see, there is a paid checkbox here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meet the criteria by checking the paid checkbox. I'm gonna hit save. All right. So now let me go back to my email account and see if I receive the email notification from Salesforce. All right, so great. I got an email from Salesforce and as you can see, the image is showing perfectly. 
I hope you enjoyed this content. Thanks so much for watching. Hey guys, please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, also, please don't forget to go ahead and share this with uh, anyone that you think might benefit from it, especially all those brand new up and coming Salesforce gurus. And as always, you can find some more episodes right here.